Don't make this terrible mistake. You will ruin the feelings right for the, for the trip. Don't get here feeling like a welcome guest. It's your past. You're 99% European. It could be easily that when I talk about the Etruscans 2,600 years ago, my DNA, my genes were in Spain and you were much closer to the Etruscans or the Romans than what I was. Could be more about you sometimes than about me. So you're responsible too then for the matter. The <laughs> place is almost 1,000 years, that is the quiet side of the life of town, and still you get friars, Franciscan friars, and you can talk to the friars, come here, it's always open, so it's still working. And it's about San Francis, not San Dominic or San Agostino. You know, San Dominic is about the Inquisition. We had the Inquisition in Italy until the 60s. I was born with the court of the Inquisition in the back hmm. But San Francis is always like a, a green movement, like a peaceful life through Catholicism that everybody has on the side of their everyday life. I mean, not only Cortona, many towns, many cities, they have a, a quiet, relaxing, religious heart inside that is about San Francis. And so... But the other half we are still paying from the bank, of course, credit. And we do not just not pasteurized milk. We have uh, we do all raw milk cheese, lactic crudo, it's called in Italian, the goat and the sheep milk. And for this you need you have special controls for the factory. So Ramajolo was containing the fat of the uh, sheep milk, and I use. That cheese with the legumes uh, because the legumes were lean, were light. In, in this case, I'm using sausage, which is already fat. So I'm blending the sausage with onions uh, to make it uh, a bit sweeter and a bit uh, milder. Mm -hmm. And then I'm using uh, ricotta, which is, you know, it is fat free because it's not a cheese, it's, it's made after the production of cheese. And then I use uh, the same pecorino cheese that you had. Uh, on your salad of legumes before to give a little bit of a salty taste. The recipe. Wow. If you like some more, and, and olive oil, of course olive oil, which I'm only using raw. I'm not cooking with olive oil. Because uh -huh. olive oil, this great olive oil, which is the only one that I'm using in the kitchen, is worth to be tasted raw. If you cook with olive oil, Roberto. You're eating. No, you're eating. No, no. What a masterpiece of nature like this, uh, not nature, a masterpiece of hard work and dedication like this olive oil is worth to be tasted raw. Don't you have to start out with a little bit of oil? I'm not, you used, I'm not doing that anymore. Never. No, never again. No. 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 So, like veg, so like vegetables, you don't, like um, you don't toss it. No, you, I have to be in front of it. After. Oh, after. after. That's what well, I'm just saying in front of the pan and watch that it's not burning. Oh, that is the, the, but then as soon as I add, uh, as soon as I add the meat, like the ragu, for instance, uh -huh. what is the sense of uh, wasting such a wonderful thing, which then inevitably will cook like uh, for my ragu, which you will be tasting in minutes, uh, five hours. Yeah. Then cooking for five hours, cooking the meat for five yeah. hours is one story, because it's. Yeah.